Put it in the mouth. To clean your mouth? Yeah. No, it's to clean the lights. No, clean your eyes. Hey. Hmm? It's to clean the lights. Yes. Yes. Show me. Let me see. Let me show the other me. and I'll clean the lights. Clean the lights. That's right. Show me the show me the bottle. Let me see the bottle. To clean your lights. Clean your lights. Clean your lights. <laughs> So what's going on guys, today we got a, I wanted to make this video because a local vendor of ours um, stopped by the shop and you know they gave us some products that either they were damaged or the uh, customer returns that were open that they, they can't resell them. So they pretty much came over to the shop, dropped them off and said, here you go guys, that's for you to use, you guys can have it. Now a lot of the products are missing parts, missing pieces, missing certain bottles or whatever but what I got is this Rainex Headlight Restore Kit. Now it's a half ass kit because I got the restore. They actually gave me two of these bottles. Now these bottles, one's supposed to be a lubricant and one's supposed to be a sealer but they're both lubricants. Basically the sealer is just a wax and it comes with these little sanding blocks number one, two and three. Alright so this is just like sanding um, just like sandpaper. I know you guys seen headlight restorations where you start off with like a thousand grim up to two thousand, three thousand and fucking pretty much paper. This is basically the same thing. You start off with a rough grit and you move to a softer and softer grit till you get the headlight pretty much smooth again, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that and then um, we're gonna try the restorer and then at the end, since we have no sealer, I'll probably use a wax or um, I'll, I'll find something to, I don't want to use a clear coat. I know you guys seen videos where people use a clear coat but honestly I think that's just overkill. A proper sealer that will protect your headlights from the UV rays from the light should be enough. So let's start working on this headlight. Now we're gonna get right to it. Basically we start off with the lubricant, start spraying this down. You can actually feel how, how uh, rough they are. But uh, I really do want to get rid of this, the yellowish, the yellowish on this headlight, these are pretty bad. It's not a big deal for me. Just want to try the product out. It was free, so I might as well try it out and see if you guys like it. So it comes with a, a sealer, a lubricant, the restorer, three sanding blocks, and I think it comes with a microfiber cloth if I'm not mistaken. But all I got was the two lubricants, the three sanding blocks, and uh, the restorer. So let's get right to it. Alright, so... This lubricant, I think this lubricant is just water. I'm not really sure, but get it all over this headlight. Might just be like, honestly, it smells like, like Windex. So there you go, guys. If you guys don't have this, start off with some Windex. Now we're going to spray some on the pad, too. Just like that. And then uh, we're just going to start sanding. I can feel the roughness as I'm sanding. One thing you guys might want to do is put some tape around the headlight so you guys can protect your paint. I forgot to do that, so let me go ahead and do that right now. This is what the headlight looks like after the first pass. This is pretty smooth right here. And this is what the sanding block looks like. I don't know if you guys can see this. Alright, so that's uh, pad number one, sanding block number one. Pretty rough. Now we're going to move over to pad number two. So this is pad number two. It's a little bit softer. I think it's a little bit higher grit. It doesn't say what grit it is, but that's what it feels like to me. So we continue with the lubricant. And it's the same process again. So it's going to get pretty repetitive. Just spray the lubricant. And like I said, guys, if you guys don't have any of this, if you guys don't have any lubricant, then get some Windex. This, I believe it's Windex. It smells just like it. So we're going to spray some on the pad and continue sanding. After you sand it down, you just want to take some water and wash that down. Because basically what you're sanding down is the oxidation that's on top of the headlight. So you want to get rid of that and wash it off of there. Now we turn to the back side of this sanding block. Spray some lubricant on there. All right, and continue sanding it once again. Every time you keep sanding, the headlight is gonna get smoother. You can actually hear it. All right, so that's the back side of the sanding block. We use this front and back. Now we rinse that out.
take our cloth you can see it's looking a lot better now block number three same thing spray it spray it over here and start sanding again after you sand clean it off there you have it after it's all rinsed we're gonna dry it one more time and then we're gonna use this headlight restorer on there now i think this is just like uh let's see let's see what it says here okay i'm gonna take the same cloth that i've been using the let's see a lot man so basically take our headlight restorer throw some on the rag and that's what it looks like it's like a little paste and uh, i'm just gonna rub that on the headlight and after that we wipe it clean I'm gonna let that dry, I'm gonna let it haze up, then I'm just gonna wipe it off. So I already wiped this down, put some water on there and wipe it down. And you can clearly see this is way better than it was before. This is like a night and day difference. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna apply a sealer on there. Now since they didn't give me a sealer, what I'm gonna use is wax. I got this little speed wax from Lucas. It's just a wax for your uh, paint. This is just a wax. I'm gonna spray that on the headlight to protect it. And then um, I'm gonna do the other headlight. Any wax that you find, I think should protect it from the UV rays from the sun. So I'm just gonna spray it on the headlight, let it sit, and then uh, just wipe it off. That should be enough protection. You don't need to add a clear coat or go overkill with this. You know, it's, uh, it's a plastic housing. Eventually, over the years, over time, it will go back to its yellowish. It's gonna, it's gonna wear out just like anything else. But there you have it. Now I'm just gonna remove this tape. We don't need this anymore. I'm gonna let this sit for a day. Make sure that it uh, protects this headlight properly and then we're gonna do a car wash. So there you have it guys. A quick headlight restoration with a product from Rainex that was free to me. It was given by a local vendor which I'm not gonna mention because I'm not gonna give anybody credit if they're not paying me for this shit, you know? So, uh, the, 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 the Rainex kit, actually is a, it's a pretty good kit for the price. And what it comes with, it comes with the sanding blocks, different grits, it comes with the lubricant, which is pretty much Windex, it comes with a sealer, which I didn't get because it was a free kit, and it comes with the headlight restore, which is like a paste, wax, some kind of rubbing compound for the light, and then it comes with a microfiber cloth, right? But I didn't get any of that, whatever. I'm not tripping, it was free. And uh, I got my lights restored on this Malibu. So if you guys want to see that on your lights, go ahead and buy the Rainix kit. I was actually going to do a giveaway, but I never got a complete kit from these people. So I was just like, alright, let me just try it on my lights and see how it works. Also guys, if you guys want to keep up with me on Instagram, it's the same thing, the homie Hector. I'll put it right here on the bottom of the screen so you guys can follow me. And uh, yeah, we still got the closet to finish. That's going to be another video. Um... I got a starter to do on the Pontiac that's over here. And uh, I got a couple other cars, so I'm pretty busy this week. And uh, I think that's it. So that's it for this one, guys. Check you out. Take care. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.